There isn't a lot we can say about a micro SD card. I mean, it's going to have some performance and it's going to have some capacity. So we're going to dive right in. We are looking at the Samsung Pro Endurance micro SD card. It has 128 gigabyte capacity, which is pretty darn good. But if you look at those specs, you'll notice those write speeds seem kind of low, especially to compare to other SD cards. Why is that? Word endurance, and that's the key here. Samsung is saying, hey, this thing is going to have 25 times the amount of endurance that normal speed-based SD cards are going to have. So what are you using this card for? Well, you're going to use it for essentially video. You've got a security cam that you got to have constant footage on, dash cam that's constantly recording. This guy is supposed to be able to keep up with all that for a years long period, 24 seven recording, not breaking down, not corrupting or losing data. So as a result, we're not going to do huge comparative benchmarks because there's no reason to. We're not trying to prove anything with this card because the only thing I could prove is if it could endure. I'd have to test it for like, what, five years straight? I don't think you want to wait that long for this video. <laughs> but on the plus side, the performance numbers measured up very closely to what Samsung was saying. On Crystal Disk, we were actually showing some really nice write speeds with that program. ATTO, you know, I saw oh, just, just a slight dip on one of the bars, but nothing that I feel like is concerning. And, of course, I switched over to Anvil because I kind of just enjoy that storage benchmark. Scores looked good. The sequential read and writes, pretty darn close to Samsung specs. That's, that's, all, it, that's all there is, guys. I mean, it's a solid SD card. Really, if you need secure data that's going to last a long time. Samsung has such a great reputation that I would definitely recommend you get that. But if you were trying to get an SD card that's going to give you lightning fast load times on your mobile games, then, then yeah, obviously that card's still not the one for you. Just grab a normal speed-based SD card. But there you go, guys. Hope those benchmarks help. I hope that little bit of an explanation gives you an idea of what you're looking at. I hope you enjoyed this review, and I'll catch you later.